let's talk about five of the best useful CapCut video editor features that you can implement into your video editing. And make sure you watch at least until number four because it's gonna surprise you. CapCut video editor on iPhone and iPad are the same thing, but I'm gonna be showing you on iPad so you can more easily follow along. Let's start working with face tracking. On this one, you're gonna wanna go to your timeline and the footage, select it. Of course, you want a face to be there. And then on the bottom options, you'll be able to look for camera tracking. Tap camera tracking, and then again, camera tracking, and you'll be able to select the face, body, hands, or custom. So we're gonna do the face here, and then it'll give us some settings after it scans to where the face or faces are. And then as you can see, it is tracking the face. You can do, as we mentioned at the beginning, hands or body. So we're going to go there, these hands. So these hands, we're gonna go camera tracking again, camera tracking. Let's find the hands. It has scanned them as you can see. And since there's two, you have to select which one's going to be the main one that's gonna do the tracking. I'm going to go for the top left because that one's the one that's gonna move uh, when he's touching his headset. So let's do that. As you can see, it is doing its thing. It's not too much because it's slow motion, but if it were actually moving, as you can see on this footage right now, I'm doing hand tracking on this one. Now for a chroma key, you need to tap in the timeline where there's actual green and then look for the remove background. In here, you can select auto removal, which I'll explain in a little bit, so stick around. But chroma key is for, of course, the key, the selection of the color you want to remove, usually done with green. And so we're going to select that and then drag over to the green. And of course, select our intensity because by default, it is set to zero. We're going to make it go up. The intensity, of course, as you can see, if you overdo it, it's gonna grab everything but we're gonna leave it at around 42. Hit okay, and there you go. You have the chroma key effect, so you can make footage appear as, it's, as if it were inside the phone or whatever else you're doing chroma key effects with. If you need any help with this, let me know in the comments below. Voice isolation is actually a really useful feature, especially for blogging or in real life situations where you captured footage and you have your voice and you want to separate the background noise or sounds. For example, in this clip, as you'll be able to hear right now. It's a little hard to listen to me, but if you go back and then select that footage, go to isolate voice as one of the options right here, and then you can select keep voice or remove your voice. I'm going to, so you, maybe you want just the sound, not your voice for that clip. I'm going to keep my voice. It'll do its magic. We're now testing the voice isolation by showing you how it can isolate your voice with regards to background noise. Let's try out the remove voice part as a test. And as you can see, it will have some artifacting, uh, filter sound effects to it or low quality Bluetooth, uh, audio levels at times, not always. Pretty cool, right? If you have enjoyed the content so far, please subscribe to the channel and give your support by giving it a like on the video. And let me know if you need any help in the comments below. But here we are, number four. And this one, I'm telling you, it's gonna bring tons of utility and might even be a game changer for your content creation. Auto captions. I'm telling you, this feature is so fundamental, I am mind blown that even Final Cut Pro on iPad doesn't have auto captions. And Light Tricks Video Leap, another popular video editor with a lot of AI features, has barely recently, in the last few weeks, implemented auto captions. So how to use auto captions in CapCut? Just open up your project and go straight to text. And in here, you can write your own text, get AI from them to give you help writing stuff, but you're going to do auto captions. In auto captions, you select 
the voiceover uh, when you add that audio file or directly from the video and you can select on many many different styles but, and so you can select any of these and it is recommended to do ones that are easier to read so people are busy watching your video rather than trying to read your text and here you can do bilingual I'm going to show you that one and so let's generate that and here we go as you can see this video already had some that I did a little while back as uh, to Apple airdrops but my new ones are right here I'm gonna put them right below the old ones and then the bilingual ones you can modify those independently your bilingual ones you can make them look different completely it won't have the cool effects or highlighting of specific words per se as you're talking as efficiently as the English version or the original version that you chose the source language but it gets the job done and so here you can see it's looking good and you can actually modify that go into a batch edit and in the batch edit you can modify where the system didn't capture correctly what you said and change that up you can go into style and actually select a different style if you want to do that let's do the quick brown fox here with the pro and there you go we can go into fonts change the actual font to any other font you want styles change the coloring that can break some effects and so be careful with that there's always the reverb button and then in this feature alone is what got me to try CapCut besides the ability of CapCut video editor being available on iPad, iPhone and iMac because I do a lot of editing in between especially my iPhone and iPad so that continuity continuity try the captions with that word is why I pretty much went and tried CapCut the next feature that I mentioned in this duo is CapCut templates CapCut template is what people probably have used for most of your daily funny comedy videos that you see on Instagram Reels, YouTube Shorts, and TikTok. These CapCut templates allow you to save time by doing all the green screen work of tracking a specific character. Uh, it also allows you to have, for example, Google search examples as this one. You can use the template to modify, add your own image that you want to show the system that you're gonna find. For example, we're gonna go with this GIF, go next, and here you can modify the text who is the most person dangerous person you can actually change that if you want to to anything else and so this I have a full-blown video guide on how to use templates so make sure you check it out if you're interested because it, it is game changer especially if you are into short short form content focused on comedy or motivational now the last of the top five must know features of CapCut video editor is cutouts and cutouts it's sort of like a chroma key but it just removes your background entirely and focuses on the subject as I'm going to show you here select your footage and then hit on over to remove BG remove background and then auto removal we're going it's going to do its an analyzing and there you go and so it's going to apply its features you can see here on the left there's the progress bar and you can do a stroke if you want to be more specific as to what you want to remove because the automatic system is not efficient enough as simple as that you have technically a green screen especially if your video is about gaming and you want the background footage or whatever else and that's pretty much the the story the the, the design philosophy behind CapCut video editor it won't get you to be making the next avatar or marvel avengers or dune part three as a videographer but it will save you time from anything low to medium level quality YouTube videos in complexity by toning down the complexity of features and it edits things really fast something like this background removal or face tracking on Adobe Premiere Final Cut or DaVinci Resolve you would need a beefy computer to be able to pull it off but with your smartphone and its brains you can do it actually pretty efficiently and quick I'm in World 7, your host at Richie Rich Labs. Anything else video related and tips and tricks, stick around. See you in the next video.